Well, the well known restaurant looks like a bomb went off. The woman driving now charged with failure to control her vehicle. And good evening, everybody. I'm Mike Darda. Cherie has the night off. The crash happened on West Main, and WLWT News 5's Brian Hamrick is there leading the way with the story. And, Brian, fortunately, this did happen in the early morning before business hours. Yeah, Mike, it could have been disastrous. Now, Quatman's is on this big turn here in Mason. You can't miss it. In fact, one woman didn't. She crashed into the wall through the windows here and inside, smashing into the tables. You can see crews have been out here all day working to clean up the mess. At Quatman's restaurant today, all the fixings are done with saws and drills. This, after the burger joint, some say could stop traffic, did. Uh, it's crazy. And in a way, no one expected. A car slammed into the front, broke through the windows, and ended up completely buried inside. Well, I got a, uh, a knock at the door this morning from the police department saying that there was a car in the middle of our restaurant. Matt M. owns the Mason Quatman Cafe. It was definitely odd. It almost looked like a bomb went off inside when you see everything everywhere. And you find bits and pieces uh, scattered throughout your restaurant that, that aren't supposed to be there. Car parts were peppered along with salt shakers and tables tossed like salad. The car simply failed to make a sharp turn and careened into the building. But it left some wanting a better explanation. You see that road and you would think you, you would see that it bends. The driver is 62-year-old Thelma West of Fairborn. Police do not think she was under the influence. However, they say she seemed confused. She was standing in the parking lot across the street when emergency crews arrived. They say she told them she thought she hit something. We're glad that no one was injured, seriously injured. Um, and we're, we're glad we weren't open and no one was walking outside in front. All after a crash put the day on detour, where the only thing hot off the grill was the front of the building. Now, what's bizarre is the car didn't hit anything structural. It just basically hit windows here. Really, a stunt driver couldn't have been in there any more cleanly than, than she did. That's one reason most of the preliminary repairs are already done. They expect to be open tomorrow. Reporting live, Brian Hamrick, WLWT News 5.